Uh, well, we have we have different designs. This is actually the front image. Okay. Back. Oh, okay. Uh, it kind of ties in the whole tape thing. Ties into the the production end of it. Okay. As well. Um, and so, like I said, we just try to create products that people like. The whole concept of the shirt. If if it doesn't grab your attention to where somebody is stopping you on the street, then we don't want to put it out. And so the images that we we promote are those kind of images. A lot of people see this and be like, oh wow, that's cool. They embracing. You know the Egyptian culture and using it with you know new age technology like as far as gotcha. you know NPCs, keyboard, you know turntables, um, boombox. You know, so it's kind of that yeah. that whole oxymoron kind of you know. <laughs> I got you. I got you. you, know, you know, I worked at uh, Universal Records. So I was in the music industry. I worked there for five years with SRC Records. Uh, helped with such projects as Akon, David Banner, Remy Ma, Terror Squad. Melanie Fiona, um, Asher Roth, uh, to name a few. And, you know, with the economy and the recession, everything that happened, the music industry went through, you know, it's turmoil and it's still going through it. So, me with the entrepreneurial background that I have, being a business management major, I chose to branch out and take advantage of, you know, me being without a job and focus on what I, my dream is to really, you know, have future history a, a solid brand. One, one catalyst for me really taking that leap into getting into clothing was going to the Learning Annex. I took oh, really? a course. Yeah, I took a course. Uh, picked up one really? of the brochures. Like I see the brochures all the time. All the time. Man. Okay. I picked up a brochure from Learning Annex and I had a, 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 a class about designing t-shirts. And I paid the money. I went there. It was really informative. I uh, met the CEO of uh, School of Hard Knocks clothing line. And he told his story, he told about how he came up, how he started out with one t-shirt, talk, talked about how FUBU started with one t-shirt, and all these different success stories like Sean John and, and etc. And so I saw that and was like, hmm, you know, this kind of ties into everything that I really want to do. And um, so then I was like, you know, let me look into the different people who uh, manufacture clothing. So I started pricing things out, figuring out what I can, can basically create with my budget. And um, I try to implement my plan and so far so good. Awesome, man. It's a great story. No problem. Thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, nice meeting you, dude. Peace. All right. Yeah, man. Peace. Thank cool, you. Cool, cool. <laughs> you know I got to ask for a t-shirt, right? Uh, it's 2X, though. You got any small ones? Uh, I just gave the small I ain't hip-hop no more. I can't be wearing no 2Xs. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do this. If I'll hit you want. next time. If, yeah, I'll give you a shirt next time. I just See, you got it on tape. You'll give me a shirt next time. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, I, I, I actually put up the smaller sizes okay. right in here. To